In Rumi's field, Lauren Hendricks and Lisa Miller. Internal, a prison corridor, afternoon. Camera takes us down the corridor, the sounds of inmates and clinking. Somewhere between rightness and wrongness, there is a field. I'll meet you there. A sheet of paper blue tacked to a door which reads, Nonviolent Communication Workshop, Internal, Annex of the Prison, Afternoon. Close up on a name badge which reads, Professor Ruth Ralston. Ruth, 40, corporate and professional, sits on a plastic chair in a stark meeting room. Smartly dressed and wearing spectacles, new to the job. What Rumi was trying to say was that it may not always be important to have someone in the right or someone in the wrong. There's a middle ground we can reach before we... Four prison inmates sit on plastic chairs, disinterested and disengaged. Two prison guards stand nearby. Drew, 32, toothless, crack addict, interrupts. Shiv the fucker. Quite. Everyone has a bit of right and wrong in them. I'll put a bit of wrong in you. Jenkins... 30, twitchy and criminally insane, grabs his crotch and winks at Ruth. Davies, 46, a well-meaning and well-trained prison guard standing close to Jenkins, shoots him a warning glance. Oi, back it in. It's too old for you, Jenkins. She's done her GCSEs. Fuck off. Nonce. McCormack, 27, aggressive prison guard, new on the job, grabs Drew too tightly by the collar and reaches for his handcuffs. You want the cuffs back, Andre? That won't be necessary. Did you hear me? Yes. McCormack releases him. You were, miss. So. Internal, a bathroom morning. Earlier that morning, Ruth practices in a bathroom mirror. I think what he meant by that. I think what he meant by that. The annex, afternoon. I think what he meant by that is that we each have the option to choose how we respond to situations. Mr. Hallett, what are your thoughts on this? Hallett, 40, silent but dangerous mountain of a man, shrugs, Davies interjects. I'll remind you that participation is not optional. I agree. With what, Mr. Hallett? that we choose how we respond to situations. Fantastic. She takes off her glasses and holds them by one arm. The bathroom, morning, flashback. Ruth is in front of the mirror. She practices swinging the glasses round in a circle by one arm. They swing out of her hand and drop into the sink. Shit. Internal, the annex, afternoon. Could you maybe share with us the last time you felt challenged? how you responded in that moment. She deftly swings the glasses and returns them to her face. With patience and kindness. <laughs> He's winding you up. I've seen him kill, kill a man with his bare hands. What the fuck are you talking about? In moments of anger, is it perhaps wise to reflect in order to find the best course of action? Not everyone has the option to plaster over shit with some poxy inspirational quotes. Go on, uh, Mr. Drew, is it? Basically, darling, I'd seen more shit by the age of 10 than you'll probably see in your entire life. With all due respect, you have no idea what I've experienced. I can just tell. I know who you are. And who am I? Privileged. Ponzi. Drew and Hallett exchange looks. McCormick takes a step towards Jenkins with his hand at, on his baton. Boy. Watch yourself. Bitch. McCormick lunges at Jenkins as Drew and Hallett exchange a glance. Jenkins produces a shiv from his waistband. Internal. Ruth's house, morning. Flashback. Ruth is on the phone. So we won't be in the main prison building. Right, and how tight is the security in the annex? Internal, the annex, afternoon. Jenkins slashes McCormick across the belly, then laughs maniacally. McCormick takes a few steps back and clutches his stomach. He looks down as the blood seeps through his fingers. Well, you play there. That wasn't part of the plan. I'm improvising. 
Davy springs into action and charges at Drew from the side. He knocks him to the floor. Don't be a dick, Hallett. You'll be months in solitary after this. Hallett grabs Ruth and pulls her in front of him as a shield and faces Davies with his back to the wall. His forearm crushes her throat. Back the fuck away. I'll kill her. I mean it. Davies glances behind him where McCormick lies limp on the floor unconscious. Drew and Jenkins zip tie his, his wrists with rehearsed dexterity. Move your hand one fucking centimetre near that taser and I'll break every bone in her body. I know you, Ellen. You wouldn't hurt a woman. Davies starts towards him with the taser. Hallett spins Ruth around and delivers a sharp blow to her face. She falls to the floor. The next few shots are seen from Ruth's point of view. Her vision blurred. She drifts in and out of consciousness. Muffled sounds and a constant ringing in her ears. <clears throat> the three men surround Davies. They punch and kick him. Hallett puts on a prison guard's jacket. <laughs> Internal, the corridor, afternoon. Ruth is carried out of the room. The three men overhead look around as they make their way down the corridor. The ringing gets louder. Ruth blinks, then drifts back out of consciousness. Internal, the bedroom. Expensive furnishings, evening. Ruth wakes up in a comfy bed with expensive sheets. She winces in pain. She looks around the room at the expensive surroundings. Her gaze lands on Hallett standing in the, in the corner, watching her. She raises a hand to her cheek. Is it bruised? Yeah. Bastard. My apologies, Miss Ralston. That screw had a friggin' taser and I got nervous. I don't know my own strength. I'll live. Jenkins. They wait as Jenkins scampers up the stairs. He rushes in. Yes, miss? What was it you called me? A poncy what? As she says this, she slides her hand under the pillow, reaching for her gun. Hallett shifts. I'm sorry, Miss Marston. I'm sorry, I got, I got carried away. She slides her hand back out from under the pillow, empty. You often get carried away, don't you, Jenkins? Well, go on. Fuck off. Jenkins sighs with relief and hurries back out of the room. Amused, Hallett makes his way over to her bedside table and picks up a book of Rumi's poetry. He sits on the end of the bed. Internal, Ruth's house, morning. Flashback. Ruth is on the phone. So we won't be in the main prison building. Right, and how tight is the security in the annex? Good. Where shall I get the car to wait? I'll be there in 20 minutes. Don't fuck it up. Internal, the prison corridor, morning. Hallett places the phone receiver back on the wall. Internal, Ruth's house, morning, flashback. Ruth picks up the book of Rumi's poetry from her bedside table, places it in her handbag and leaves. External, an affluent looking road, morning. Ruth walks out of a chic Ken Kensington townhouse. She pats her hair and mutters to herself. Facilitate, facilitate, facilitate. Ruth approaches a sleek black car. Her driver opens the door. Miss Ralston? Internal, Ruth's bedroom, evening. Hallett looks down at the book of Rumi's poetry. You got a favourite? Yes. She takes the book off him. Why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? End of film.